Hello, AP Calculus AV students, Mr. Record here, and we are nearing the end of our video series on the mean value theorem, topic 5.1 from the CED. And we're now going to talk about when the mean value theorem uh, does not apply. It's nothing to get angry about, but sometimes you don't have to go through the process. And if you don't have to go through the process of finding the conclusion of the mean value theorem, we don't want to do that because if it doesn't apply, we're pretty much wasting our time going any further. So let's take a look at this example. So as you can see, the title, when the mean value theorem doesn't apply, sort of implies that the mean value theorem is going to work for any three of these. And so we're not going to have to take derivatives and take slopes and set them equal to each other, but we're going to be able to determine exactly why we cannot apply the mean value theorem. So we look at part a f of x is 3x minus the absolute value of x minus 3 on the interval 2 to 5. now remember the mean value theorem has two criteria the function must be continuous on the closed interval and differentiable on the open you have to have a little bit of confidence with some of these graphical types some of these parent curves and i would hope that all the students would realize that 3x is a continuous function and the absolute value of x minus 3 is a continuous function Subtracting those two still gives you a continuous function. So the problem isn't that f of x isn't continuous. The problem is that f of x is not differentiable. Exactly. Because absolute value graphs are notorious for having that little v shape to them. And at the bottom of the v shape, we have the sharp turn. So how would you state this thoroughly? Well, you can just abbreviate as much as possible. And you could say f of x is not differentiable. Now here's where you got to be careful because if I state that I've told a lie because that function is differentiable. It's differentiable at a ton of places. It's only dif not differentiable at one single value of x and you need to state that specific value so that you won't be caught in a lie. And that's your solution. That's why the mean value theorem doesn't apply. Take a look at part b. We have g of x is equal to 2 over x plus 2. Well, immediately your eye should be drawn to that denominator, x plus 2, and like a red light goes off and it says, wait a minute, x can't be negative 2. Double check, you'll see that negative 2 is a member of this domain, and so that's the reason why we're not going to proceed any further with this. g of x is not continuous at x equal negative 2. Now, could there have been another answer for this one? That's always a good question. Students bring that up. Because if a function's not continuous, then it doesn't have any chance of being differentiable. And that's very true. So I suppose that a student could say g of x is not differentiable at x equal negative 2 as well, or maybe in lieu of this statement. But it seems like the continuity statement is probably the, the more prominent one. You won't ever see... a, a multiple choice question isolate on those two different choices g is not differentiable on the x equal negative 2 g is not continuous unless it's one of those state all the reasons that apply all right taking a look at our last one here h of x equal x to the two-thirds on the interval negative 1 to 3 always one of my favorite graphs I always tell students, by the time you get this deep into the year, we want to be very comfortable about what x to the two-thirds graphs. And it's what I like to call our caw, caw, our seagull graph. It looks a little something like this. If you're not so familiar with it, maybe you grab your graphing calculator, sketch it, get to know it very well, because it's a very popular kind of function to throw in with mean value theorem, because it has this very sharp turn here at which we know that our function is not differentiable. Continuity is not an issue with this guy. Differentiability, though, is. And so we would just simply state that h of x is not differentiable. Don't catch yourself in a lie, though because that's not really true. There's derivatives all over the place to this thing. Tangent lines can be drawn, computed, no problem. But at that one specific location at x equals 0, we've got ourselves an issue. And so there's your solutions to example 4. Hopefully this helps.